you're going to grab this cart and be a really good person from outside. So yeah, make someone have an easier job on the inside. Of course, we're going to Goodwill. We're going to go to the same one. I kind of like going to the same Goodwill when we live trip because then you know I don't make things up and don't taste it or anything like that. The same one. We have a ton of new carts out. Our new color of the week is yellow. So we're looking for yellow. Let's go, Jeff. What is up, everybody? Thanks for watching this. You can watch this later on on YouTube or anywhere. Give it a thumbs up. Or just say hi. All right. Let's see what we have. So obviously, obviously, we're going to the new carts. And while we look at the new carts, I might not be answering all the comments. Or any comments. we got to get through these. And then we can slow it down. Drop the sections. The story. Ooh, NHL. Ooh, that looks that looks vintage. I saw that in the cart. Is that vintage? My golf. Oh, uh, may not. May not. Made in time. No, no, that's not vintage. I thought it was. Good morning. Good morning, Jen. Why is everyone Sophia Gladys? Good morning. All right, let's go over here. Wow, we have a lot of new cards. We have a lot of new cards. One, two, three, four. Five new cards. Look at that little Mickey. How cute is that? Too bad I don't have a kid that small anymore. What's up, little Denny? All right, five new cards. Let's go. Let's go. That's what we can count on. You, you thrift during the day. A lot of times it's quiet and you don't have a lot of people. Look, there's not a lot of people in here. So we're doing all right. All right, let's get through these. Thanks for the rose. What did I miss? Good morning. Nothing. We just got in here. And we're going through, I don't really like going through kids clothes too much. There are some that are good, like the bamboo brands. They make bamboo kids clothing really soft. You can just tell by feeling it. I don't buy Victoria's Secret pink. I know some people do. I know they say uh, the silk is really good. But I just have odd luck. And I've looked up comps a ton of times. I just can't, can't sell me on it. I can't sell myself on it. That cart was boo-boo. There you go. There's your big hit hell figure. That's not going to sell. That's a newer tag. Even though Tommy's kind of coming back. We'll see. All right. Let's get on this cart down here. We'll leave that cart alone. They're working on it. Oh, hi. Oh, hey, K-Way. Watch some of K-Way's live. K-Way's shop live over on YouTube earlier. I might or might not have been driving. But yeah. Welcome in. We have one, two, three, four, five new carts. So hopefully... Odds are with us that we'll find something. Find something. St. Croix Knits. Sometimes you find this in 100% cashmere, and it's worth getting. For $3.99, it's probably going to be $3.99 for this. But definitely not this. What's up, Amy? Mel, any tips for anyone to be productive um, and not build a death pile? Yeah, don't thrift and list that death pile. That is uh, what you got to do. But... I'm the wrong person to ask for that because I built a death pile, but for me, it is, uh, I call it, I know I don't have a, a hat. It's awful. I call it job security. So death pile to me is called job security in case things get really dry or I don't think we'll have another pandemic, hopefully. But, uh, yeah, it's called job security for me. Mr. Tall DC or yeah, they make vintage like pearl snaps. Cherokee. Get out of here, Felix, with the Cherokee talk. Dude, where's the hat? I know. I left it at home. There's your Columbia, new with tags. Ooh. I left the wrong out of cart. Ah, I might have to get this. It's new with tags. Oh, Barry D, what do you think? Chat, thumbs up, thumbs down. You look fine without a hat. Thank you, girlfriend. Thanks. Yeah, I left it at home this morning. I was dropping off my daughter. I'm like, oh my gosh. How can I go in here without a hat? Um, yeah, so Columbia New Tags, five bucks, women's. I don't think so. I don't know. I don't know. I'll let you guys do it. Oh, we got a thumbs up. We have one thumbs up for Columbia New Tags. It's a fleece. That's something I save till next year. Speaking of next year, or not next year, in the fall later this year. But let's, let's talk about, uh, my death pile, right? I have death piles, but I also am a seasonal seller. As long as you lift, list, uh, the right amount of items or your goal a day, I think you'll be fine. Just list your goal every day. Thumbs up, thumbs up. Okay. I'm getting lots of thumbs up. Are you guys just saying that to stick me with Columbia? 
that's not going to sell. It is only five dollars. Thing about that is, I'm not going to lose money. Worst case scenario, I'll double my money. But I want to make more than five dollars. You know what I mean? Felix, thumbs down. All right, so shorts like this, they're vintage. I usually look for like a Michigan or these would be Michigan, but a older college team. That would be good. Any brand that I'm passing by is not a brand I pick up. Maybe it is for you guys. Maybe you pick up Goodfellow, but not me. Germany, vintage tag, but I don't like picking up um, places that people have visited. They all have vintage tags or weird looking tags that look vintage, but they're usually not great resellers for me. So I don't pick them up. Te Verde? No. Will you regret it if you don't get it? That's a good question. No. I definitely won't regret it if I don't get that Columbia. I won't even think about it after this store. Definitely have regrets. I definitely shoot. We got another one. Look, though, I'm a good person. And if you're just now joining, I got a cart from outside and I brought it inside. I'm a good person like that. Not that great. Not many great qualities about myself, but that's one of them. Small gains are big gains. Yeah, small gains add up. I know. I know. But we're talking about a death pile that I have that's big with way better profit. But, no, there's new with tags, but it's size zero. Size zero just does not sell well for me. I'm not saying it doesn't sell. We'll put it in the cart since we got nothing so far. So there you go. Columbia, new with tags. Please, you can even look up Columbia. It's super easy if you find new with tags. Just look up beach, forest. No, no, no. I guess beach, beach forest. Is, that looks more like the color. Usually the model is right there. But we dropped this too. Do you see Meg's recent TikTok with you in it? Um, I saw the one where she was crying and that was from last week because I didn't get the jacket from this store. And then I made a TikTok back to her that I went back here on a Friday, which is 30 minutes away from my house. And I got it for her. Finally cracked 300 items in my store. Else when we get that number higher? Exactly. Keep getting that number higher. We, we hit every cart, but one. So we're going to, we're going to keep looking. We're going to keep looking. I usually like to go through jackets and coats. Um, there's some people down this aisle. This aisle is clear. So we're clear to go. No, that's a new one. Oh, no, I haven't seen it. I have not seen it. You look for the tan suit jacket. Um, there's a couple here. We can look it up. Let me have 20, 62 listed, one sold on this. So Felix said 62 listed, one sold. Now, we can talk about it, right? If that one, If the one sold is for... Twenty dollars, it's worth it. New with tags, and all the other ones are listed at forty. No, but that's still awful sell through rate. So that might go back, and like, like might as in probably. Columbia is not a brand I usually pick up. Very few pieces of Columbia I'll pick up for part time reselling. How many times a week should I thrift? Um, what type of venture? I, I that's Bears, right? That's the Chicago Bears, Felix. That's the exact Chicago Bear. I know some schools copy. But it's kind of messed up. I'm not gonna get it. Um, so when I was part time, I thrifted as much as I could. To be honest, I thrifted all my way home before kids. Um, I thrifted all my way home every day after work. Um, sometimes at night, if it was chill, I would go out and thrift. Our thrift stores do not close until eight o'clock. And thanks for the follow. I saw a whole bunch of people following. If you want, you can follow me. Um, I go live thrifting here. I was a full-time teacher. Now I'm a full-time reseller. This was my side hustle, which I was just talking about. And um, I'm all on all platforms. And I put this stuff, this will go live on uh, YouTube later on. But that was DePaul. Was that DePaul? Morning, sir. What's up, flipping nurse? My bears. What's up, Nathan? Eighteen ninety nine new. So Felix is telling me that the sell-through rate on this is not good. And the one that sold was eighteen ninety nine. So this is zip jacket pullover right here is going back now we will be nice and put it in the size section it belongs in it is a size small so we're gonna look for small which is right there and we'll put it back so and also my way of we'll go back to where we were what's up what's up casey um i'm gonna feel all right yep i'm with it all right so here we go let's talk about it 
um, I went thrifting every day on my way home from work and I'd go thrifting at night. So I would just thrift as much as I could. And then when I was full time and only part time, I was more interested in getting the higher, the higher um, margin profit items. Reason being is because I didn't have as much time to list. Family vacation 2018, I bet they had a good time. Um, but yeah, I didn't have as much time to list. So I was focused on um, listing better products. That's trying to look like a Lulu with their cutoff tag, but it's not a Lulu. Um, yeah. So yeah, that's what I did. Um, I'm sure a lot of you guys are on the, in the same boat. Um, but yeah, now I thrift. Uh, I, I don't thrift near as much. If, if I get low on inventory, I'll thrift uh, more, but I'm just not having that problem right now. It's all ebbs and flows, though. It's ebbs and flows. If I have a bad Wednesday like today where I'm thrifting, I'll hit a couple thrift stores like Friday or Thursday, something like that. But yeah, thanks for the follows. I appreciate it. So basically, oh, okay, so this is women's. I'm for sure getting this. So this is women's. This is like a fishing nylon Duluth trading vest. It's new with tags, though. So I'm definitely getting this. Um, so you can look up Heirloom. I just, I just listed a brand new Duluth jacket yesterday. Cross-listed it over with um, with Auto Posture on the Macari, which I'm selling on now, and um, Poshmark, obviously eBay. But women's heirloom gardening vest. So it's a gardening vest. I thought it was a... I thought it was a fishing vest, but I guess it's a gardening vest. But for $5, I'm picking it up. Do you have templates um, created for listings? So what I do, um, and you can watch me. Um, actually, I do all my listing from my phone. So I haven't actually said that in a long time. So if you're new here or not so new here, Polo Rough Lauren has that. Um, so look for that emblem. That's not Polo. But I list everything from my phone. So I take all my pictures from my phone, and then I list everything from my phone. I just do sold similar of my own listings that I've sold, or if I don't have one, I will um, sell similar from someone else's. The only thing that I copy and paste is my description, which is basically just like, thanks for looking at my item. I don't wash my items, but they are free of smells and stuff like that. So I love that. Um, you want, I always want to surf. What are you, what are you talking about, Felix? gardening overalls are a great sell so though that's a best but yeah i bet the overalls would be a great sell you know but, uh, actually look there's cool touch that's cool the brand cool um there's your little logo we all look for that logo but this is kind of dingy uh 2xl what are you guys thinking on this cool so cool shirts don't do near as well as pants but i was saying i was laying mulch yesterday and you're always on your knees. And uh, yeah, you're always on your knees. And I could have used some overalls. All right, so this would be my this would be my thumbnail shot. So if I were to buy this shirt, this would be my thumbnail shot. It'd show that it's a polo. It'd show the size. It'd show that it's cool touch. And it'd show the, the little logo, what color it is. Good morning, Liv. Any good finds? Not too many. Oh, you are so trusted leaving your cart like that. <laughs> the store, I'm notorious for it. If you guys go back a couple, oh, Ariat Tech, this is a good one. Um, Ariat's a good brand, and it's Ariat Tech, so I'm going to pick that up. I haven't sold, I don't know if I've sold a polo before, but the button-up shirt sold real well. So hopefully they'll have a few um, in the other area. I'll look that up, probably. It's probably like $100. Rough condition pass, I agree. Uh, I have one of those listed, this cool touch. I pass on Ariat polos. Really, what about the Ariat Performance? Not the, not the cotton, but the one with the performance material. I already forget the name. Okay, so this was the store um, last week. This is the exact same store. I found three XL Under Armour polos, which I don't pick up Under Armour anymore. But they were three. They were all striped right together. I said, you know what? I'll pick them all up. I'll sell them for $44.99. Um, and I bought, had $15 into them because they're 5 bucks a piece. And I sold them within a week. And I shipped them live yesterday. There's a Travis Matthew. Oh, they're just hurting me today. This Travis Matthew has been such a slow seller. But I could probably sell similar. I could buy it for five and list it for $16.99. What do you guys think? Ariat jeans and boots are fire. Agreed. Ariat flame resistant 
That makes it easier. There's a little bleach spot or something there. That makes it easier to decide. Ariat is fire resistant or fire retardant are really good. Blaze Baseball. Don't know that one. I pass on Gymshark now. You guys know that if you follow me. I pass on Gymshark. It used to be really popular. Still popular in still popular. A lot of people wear it. But I don't get it because it's sold at TJ Maxx for fifteen dollars. So there's no way I'm gonna get fifteen, twenty dollars used. You can buy it new. Mine is blue, okay. Um on that on that on that cool and it's not selling for you. Yeah, it's rough. Only cool shirts I, I really like. Shirts. I like jackets, but shirts I like to get are the button up and they like a polyester blend or something like that. Uh what was that blue Hawaiian shirt? This is um a western shirt. Western shirt. Little little din. IG me later. IG me. But yeah, two XL though. Alright, let's keep looking. Oh now that's what I'm talking about. Okay. Let's go talk about it. Did you guys see that? Did you guys see that? Okay. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Get it. Get it. Okay. So, obviously, we're not passing this up. This is my favorite my favorite hiking brand. Everyone knows this brand that has been reselling, but there are always new faces. This is our T-Rex. So, I always recommend to people, if you want to know what brands to resell, Go into places like REI, look at the most expensive hiking brands, go into places like Nordstrom's if you can, or go online. Those really expensive brands are the ones you want to look and resell. So we're definitely getting that area shirt. This isn't huge money, but this is probably a $37 shirt. Such a random number, right? All right, but now we have two of these area techs. Check this out. Two of them, they're the same size, XL, I think I'm going to get them both and lot them together. That's what we're going to do. Good job. Thanks, guys. It's um, I sell pearl snaps like crazy. Those West, those, oh, shoot. We lost our spot. Uh, those don't do as well for me, those long sleeves. Go get that Western for me. I'll get it. Um, there's someone down there. I don't know. But so that's a good that's a good example of something I love together. I know those probably sell. If someone in the chat wants to look it up, and then I'll... Talk of out loud for people later on YouTube, but Ariat Tech Heat Series Polo. How much do you go for used? My guess is fifteen to seventeen dollars. If I can lot them up together, I'll lot them up for twenty nine ninety nine. Ooh, this is a good one. This is a good one right here. Hello, what's up, Aaron? Just sold on Depop. Um, of all places, I need to get on to Depop now. Hey, Brad, where's my money? Kit Kat, get out of here. You owe me money with that bet. Okay, here's a good one. It does have a little bit of, um, it's okay if it has a little bit of food marks, right? So we're in the blazer section, in the suit section. People go to parties. People get food on. They go to weddings. They're messy. They need to get on the dance floor. You guys know the deal. But it felt good. And then I saw it's got that blend right there. Reda, Reda, whatever. It's like a Laura Piana and it's Brooks Brothers. So... Regent Brooks Brothers, 100% getting this. We're going to see the size tag right here, 40. That almost feels like a silk blend. So we're going to look. It uh, looks like it's 100% wool, so off on that. But for $7.99, I'm going to get it. And the last thing I want to do right now are list blazers, but I'm going to get it because it's good. Uh, derbies are going on in May. Yes, derbies are going on in May. Did you go through all the shirts? No, um, I didn't because we got. I came back to my cart. Um, and someone else went down the aisle. So I'll go back in a minute where I left off. No problem because there's no one in here really. So we are we are set to go. Cute tat tat. Hey, thanks for tapping the screen, everybody. Appreciate everyone being in here. If you want to follow, you can hit follow at the top. I appreciate it. Otherwise, we're going to talk about this jacket right here that a lot of people should know this brand. This is a Bolo brand. But... I don't think I'm going to get it. You guys can tell me in the chat what you think. Um, if it's 40S, I buy the blazer from you. Oh, this one right here? Was it a 40S? It looks a little bit bigger than a 40. So it's funny because a lot of people pass up on 40s and 38s. It's a 40 regular. It's 40 regular. But um, actually, um, S shorts, like I said, at 40S, it'd be 40 short. 38 short, they actually sell well for me in suits. So, here we go. This brown blazer, there's a couple things I don't like about it, but the brand's killer. 
Um, this has stripes. Oh my gosh, leave me alone, people. We're not going to do that. Um, this has stripes. I'm not a big fan of stripes. And then it has three buttons. I'm not a big fan of three buttons, but look at the brand, right? Zegna. All right, now you guys think about that one for a minute. Is this something to pick up or not? I like picking up Brooks Brothers. It sells for 50 Yeah, that will sell for 50 It might sell for a little more because it's got a really good pattern. It's a good size at 40 A lot of people don't like that size, but they sell well for me. It's got a good fabric. It's got a good fabric. Um, oh, 40 42 Got you, Dan. So I'm going to put that down there. Zegna is a pickup. It is. But I've sold Zegna for such a long time. That some of the pieces do sit, and this looks like an older piece. Look how it's just kind of that older look. Um, I, you guys are going to be upset with me, but unless I can find uh, pants that match it over in the pants section, I'm going to skip it. I'm going to skip it for $7.99. You guys are going to be so mad at me. I know. I know. 100% wool. Okay. Uh, what do you think when it's wrinkled like that? Oh, wrink the wrinkling doesn't bother me because most people will get it and just dry clean it. Um, I mean, people who wear suits, they'll get it dry cleaned every other time they wear it. So it's dated. Yep, it's dated. I'm not gonna get. I'm not gonna get it. You guys are gonna be mad at me. But I told you, those those sit for me. So just because it's a good brand, does not mean I'm gonna pick it up. Now that aisle is clear, so we'll go back over there before we do pants. Um, again, I'm just looking for yellow tags because that's the new tag of the week, not the half off tag. We don't have those. We said the new tag of the week. So with this blazer, it's really um, thick wool. I was looking to see if it's Harris Tweed. It's not. Hey, thanks, Missy, for the follow. No one that's that dated. Uh, Brad, is it rad today? Looking like Wayne is lame. <laughs> ha! Wayne is lame. Brad is rad. I like that. Ooh, here we go. Now, I have no idea what I'm looking at. And that's great because I like finding new brands. But this is a very interesting blazer. Look at this blazer. This is an... Um, like a spring blazer because it's unlined and it's cotton. Um, but I don't know this brand. Does someone want to look it up? Thug Hero, S-U-G Hero. We'll look that up. Thug Hero. Yes, the Ariat Tech. Um, 426 listed, 345 sold. Close to 100% sell-through rate. So that's that's going to get... Yeah, un un um unconstructed blazer so it means there's no lining it's just the shell so it's cooler what do you look for before you buy a blazer brands um not it has to be brands brands comes first for me with blazers brands then after that it's going to be um materials here's a pair of travis matthew shorts and travis matthew shorts still sell used for me in used condition for around 18 20 dollars so i'm gonna pick these up these are only $3.99, so really low buy cost. Even if I were to had a, what's up, Barry? Even if I, I just sold a pair the other day. If I were to list these and they weren't selling, I could drop it to $16.99. Those will only take me 30 seconds to sell because I've sold some like it and I have some listed. By the way, usually it says like get lucky. Pro proceed with caution when you unfly the zipper. Huh. Uh, let's see. I don't mind my brand tissue. Do Bugatti shirts have sizes on them? I actually don't pick up Bugatti shirts. Bugatti Yomo, I don't pick those up anymore. They just don't sell like they used to. Um, some people sell them, and they do well with them, but for me, they just uh, they don't sell for me anymore. Sun River, nope. Not getting Sun River. I'll look a little bit at Black Tags, because I haven't been here since last week, but the store's probably been thrift over quite a bit. Okay, is Ralph Lauren and Brooks Brothers safe bets? Not always. Nope. Not always. It just depends. There are there's Brooks Brothers suits that I pass up um, sometimes. So it just depends. You want to look up comps. Like that one has that Rita. R-E-D-A. See how it has this R-E-D-A, whatever fabric. So you want to look up Brooks Brothers Regent. Blazer, not a suit, blazer, Rita. Rita, or whatever it is, um, with that regent. That's what you want to look for. Um, Bugatti had their sizes on the neckline. Miss it, it's been removed. There you go. It's on the neckline. A lot of them are like that. 
I actually just sold a shirt that I got at this store not too long ago. Looks like it dipped in. Um, and it sold yesterday, same day I listed it. Same day I listed it. If you want to go to my eBay store, you can see it. Actually, and for those that are new, you go to surfsupfinds.com and you can see everything, all my, everything that I do, all my attachments, all everywhere I sell, all the things I use. I don't sell anything to people though. All right, so these are AG pants, um, like jean chinos, like a mix. Hopefully they're four ninety nine. They are. I'm gonna pick these up because they are uh, Rockaware. Rockaware jeans sell if they have really embroidered pockets. These are the Everett. So these are one of the the styles that I pick up. The Everett's a style I pick up. This tag's in good condition. A lot of times these aren't. Um, so I'm gonna pick this up for five dollars. This will sell for around twenty two. Um, it could sell all year long, but I'm gonna sell these short. I'm gonna list these shorts. They're more priority right now, and then if I get around to selling those, I will. What's up, Annie's attic? I sure forgot you like Alan Fuser. Only get crazy loud ones. Yeah, Casey, I agree with you. I agree with you on that. All right, so we went through that. We're going over here now. I'm really just looking for yellow tags. Yellow tags. Sold a pair of the graduate last week. Yep, graduate's one of them. You know, flipping theirs. Graduate, Telus, the Everett, and the Ives. Those are the four I like to get. I know a lot of you have heard me say that before. By the way, these Eddie Bauer pants, these nylon pants, I've sold these together in um, groups of bundles. So if you find those, sometimes you can uh, sell those together. Otherwise, I don't pick them up just individually, personally. Again, everything I'm saying is just me. It might work for you. It's just what I pick up, what I've experienced. Okay, we're going to look for those brown. I don't even want to pick up the brown pants, even if for that Zegna suit. That Zegna suit is so outdated. Okay, we're going to look for those brown. I don't even want to pick up the brown pants, even if for that Zegna suit. That Zegna suit is so outdated. Me, no. Uh, Freedom Roth? No, that's David... Bitten, Buffalo David Bitten, whatever his name is. Those jeans don't sell for anything. All right, here's a couple AG jeans, but these are really rough condition. So see that? It's, that's had a belt going around it really bad. Look, these two, you can't even tell what they are. And they're shorter, so I don't care what they are. I'm not going to get them. The Protégé, that's the brand, That's the model I don't pick up. So that helps out. They're both the Protégé. That's the model I don't pick up. Um... Let's keep going. Gas, Hollister, nope. Diesel, yes. I love finding diesel. Okay, so here's your diesel. You're gonna have a diesel right here. Okay, so here's your diesel. You're gonna have a diesel right here. Here, right there. There we go. All right, so we're gonna get those. Whoops. We're gonna get those diesel jeans. Put them in here. All right, now we're going to keep looking, see if we can find anything else. And we're going to go to the jackets next, hopefully. What are these? Those are crazy. But yeah, Rockaware, someone asked about Rockaware. It was Citizen of Humanity. They can, I bet these are Sid. Are they Sid? No, they're Evans. Sometimes these do well, but I kind of pass on Citizens of Humanity lately. Ooh, this I will not pass on. You guys know this? All right. So these are Levi's. People always ask me, what Levi's do you pick up? Ooh, and they're 34 length, 40 by 34. It's perfect. I pick up orange tab Levi's. These are gonna be made in the USA. And the way you know that, because we're gonna look at the inside tag. Vintage orange tab Levi's, I know. So you're not gonna see any tag around here. No tag around here. You're gonna look down, inside, down the leg. You know it, down the leg, ladies, you know. It's going to say made in the USA. So Levi's made in the USA is what I buy. Almost every time orange tab is made in the USA. Those, I don't know 517, how those do well, but it doesn't matter. Those are worth it for $7.99 all day long. All right, let's go. Oh, we're going to go. We'll go over here. I'll bring the cart so you guys can chill. You know what I wear. I know. Hair singer. Fire on that. Look at all those jersey things. All right, let's go. Yeah, so that's, um, those are the Levi's I buy, buy 560s. It just depends. Um, Silver Tab is my favorite, especially if they're made in the USA. 
But yeah, people always ask, what Levi's do you pick up? It just all depends. But anything made in the USA with a good buy cost, like under $10, is usually a plus. Look at that Kingdom. What is this? Kingdom of Hearts. Disney Kingdom of Hearts. That looks kind of unique, guys. It's got like anime and... Huh. Kingdom of Hearts. I don't know that one. It's got a screen print tag, so it looks a little newer. I don't know. It's a video game? Is that a video game? Dritos. Yep, I'm in Indiana. It's a game. I did not know that. Thanks for educating me, guys. I did not know that. I don't know many games these days. Video games. Used to before kids, and I have a feeling here soon I'm going to know a lot more as my son gets older. Anytime I find a screen print tag, it's usually newer. A surf favorite animal is the goat. No, it's the golden goat. It's the golden goat. All right, there's an untuck it, short sleeve, and this is going to be the nylon elastane. So I do like picking up these, and it's a short sleeve. Untuck it's come off a little bit, but these nylon elastanes still sell well. You can go to my store and look up sold comps. They still sell, especially being short sleeve. That's for sure a pickup for $5. So we're getting some stuff. I appreciate you guys being in here. Give me some luck today. Brad, guess what? What's up? What's up? Well, Denny, I got you. Um, ooh, there's a Brazil. This is a Brazil jersey, but it's women's. Brazil Nike jersey. And that, I'm like 100% sure that's authentic, but it's women's. I don't know how women's Brazil jersey would do. I don't know. Good morning, 07. I'm still selling on Tucking on the regular. Yep, it's... What's up, Cam? Um, I watch your videos, Cam. Um... Untuck it is a bread and butter for me now, for sure. Just like a low end bread and butter. Like anywhere from eighteen ninety nine to twenty two ninety nine, unless it's a big, big size. So that's how I feel about those. Is this your full time job? This is my full time job. Right? I went to school and got a degree just to do this full time. Isn't that crazy? It means anyone can do it. Anyone can do it, and you can start at home selling your own stuff. You can start with no money pretty much out of your pocket. That's There's not many jobs out there that are like that. Not many entrepreneur jobs. There you go. Pair of thieves. Never heard of that. This feels nice. Pair of thieves. Don't know that one. West. Um, Kingdom of Hearts sold for $40. That, that shirt sold for $40? West Coast, right? We're on the East Coast. Um, I saw some people. Where do you sell the clothing? On eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari now. I've always done eBay um, since 2001. Pulled in since 2016, but I just started with um, po Auto Posher using its cross lister over to uh, Mercari and Poshmark. So I list all my stuff on eBay and spend about five minutes crossing it over to the other platforms so I have triple the people looking at my stuff. Um, I don't know that brand. Uh, no, it's a Target brand. Got you. Got you. Thanks for the follow, who Mike Jones. Um, I love my car sale like that. It's a chain sale. I'm thinking of smile. I don't have... I have Adam McCarry. I only have like five things. I just started cross thing yesterday. So I guess maybe 15 things? So I listed 15 things yesterday. But yeah. We'll see how it goes. That's... That's good looking. That's got to be silk. Um, I also don't pick... Polo Ralph Lauren's my favorite brand, but if they're dingy collars, I don't pick them up like that, especially polos. So the, all these, all those jerseys are like local teams. Red Storm, stuff like that. It just comes... It's one listed for $99. What? On that... Um, Dizzy, I'll tell you what. I'll put it in the cart, and we'll look at. The, I'll look at the comp later on. We'll go back and find it. Ooh, look at that! Happy holidays. I don't even know where it is. Where is it? There's a new tags women's long sleeve polo shirt. Pass. What color was it? There it is. How about that? All right, we'll look that up online. But yeah, I've never seen that shirt before. There's also Myers pair of these. I'm here to be taught. Teach me, teach. All right, Shiat. Um. Let's teach. We just we just learned about orange tabs. So you're gonna have to go back on YouTube, watch this later. And then we talked about Ariat. I'm gonna lock these up. Ariat Tech Polo shirts. They have a really good sell-through rate. So we're gonna we're gonna hit those up. We're gonna hit them up. 
Superman. Um, do you, anyone have a Poshmark referral code? Um, I don't have a Poshmark referral code, but I have an auto posher referral code. You go to surfsupfinds.com and click on $5 off auto posher. You get $5 off and a referral. And it's a code. All right, there you go. Is that Walter Payton? Yeah, Walter Payton. Why is it? Why would they have a Walter Payton? That's got to be like a fake. They have throwback. Wal oh, no, that's not fake. There's your throwback. But like they have throwback Walter Paytons. Um, four ninety nine. Sorry, everybody. We just lost our mic. All right, we back. We back. You guys here? Good. Yes. No. I need those uh forty and thirty fours. I know, big fat. Aren't those nice? Aren't those nice? Okay. So on this Walter Payton, it is stitched. It is a kid's. But it could be a women's, you know what I mean? Um, it's like a women's medium or large. You guys tell me what you think. I don't know. I don't know about that Walter Payton. It's Reebok. It's a throwback. There's a Virginia polo. I always... Nike is a brand that does well for me when it comes to college polos. So this is a Virginia polo, Nike. Um, this will sell for $17.99. That's what I list them all for. So $17.99 for this. Um, and I have one listed similar, so I'll just sell one similar and change the college and the color. That's what I'm going to do. So the hell of that Ben Sherman shirts. Do you – I have stopped picking up Ben Sherman. I see him in every single store. There's a C from my local school or where my kids go to school. I just have a Kindle Hearts is a Disney game. You get uh, get it in your pet – oh, I can get it in my new PS5. And I love Disney. You guys know that. Mickey Mouse has my heart. So I, I could, I could do my late night game. Uh, which store is this location? Um, this is on the west side of Indianapolis. Cuba Vera used to be a decent brand. The only time I pick it up, if it's a really big, really big size. Look at this old fifth grade fun day shirt. I bet those kids had a blast that day. Never forget it. So you gotta make those kids have fun while you have them. Being a Old school teacher. All right, we're going to go down. Um, we're going to go down look at these jackets, but we're going to go down this aisle first. So we're going to look at all these yellow tags. Actually, let's go down and look at some shoes. Do we have any shoes through here? It's for the follow. Retro. Um, paint jersey brand new is 35 on Mercari. Okay, not getting it then. Yeah, if it was a men's, I would for sure get it, but no, not getting that. These look like brand new Echo. They have a little bit of wear. They've definitely been worn. You can see right here on the heel. But they do have that tag. I'm not a big Echo fan anyways. Skechers. No, 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 no. Earth. No, none of those. All right. Let's put our cart here. Look, we have a full cart. We're doing well. I have goodwill. Who would have ever thought? It doesn't happen very often. This is that fake North Face. We're not getting it for $5.99. It's fakey fake. Or it might not be fake. Was this the fake one from last week? No, I think this one's actually real. Maybe. I don't know. I'm still not getting it because those Denali's don't do great, and it's a women's small. Not getting it. Don't forget my Western shirt. Danny, I got you. Um, There's that Columbia. We're not getting that. Did we ever go back down that aisle? No. Let's leave this. There's Hugo Boss. Okay, so where I found those A jeans, I actually left. So right here, these are Bonobos. I don't pick up Bonobos anymore. On um, these pants, I don't pick them up anymore unless they're like a nylon material. But these have the pockets and that you can tell they're Bonobos. And they'll say Bonobos right there. And then these are AG pants, just like those other chinos. And if these are the Everett like those, I am going to pick these up. They are the graduate. I'll pick these up as long as they don't have any flaws. So the graduate's a good one too. AG, Adriana Goldschmied. We'll look it up just in case you guys want to know. That's what you're going to look for. Boom. These will sell for around $25. Paying five for it. Um, how do you change your Poshmark from your name to your business name? Um, I, I'm not sure. I think you can go to editing, uh, edit your settings and change your name. Um, I did on eBay. Uh, when I started doing social media a year ago. But here are Hugo Boss. Hugo Boss, very expensive brand from Nordstrom's and other places. 
but the resale value just does not do well for me. All right, we're going down this whole aisle. This is the Western shirt. The price has hurt my feelings. <laughs> You're in St. Louis. Come on up. There, this is different, though. Um, they're simply Southern. Simply Southern. Um, simply Southern. Life's better. What do you guys think? I don't. I don't do that great with Simply Southern, I don't think. I've never really sold it. I've got I've gotten it from giveaways on different whatnot shows, whatever. What I have to just not selling on? Well, I've always sold on eBay. I'm getting sales on Poshmark, so we'll see how Macari does. I would say Facebook Marketplace with the shipping option is not that great for people. Uh, best find today, those Levi's probably. Best find ever, that's a long story. Um, yeah, those Western shirts are at Walmart. This is not for me. This is for someone in the chat. It's not for me. Um, Google image it. Yeah, this. You guys want to Google image that? Take a snapshot. And Google image it. Mm, there you go. All right, let's keep going. We keep going. There is United States weird flag thing. Really small shirt. Okay, here we go. You know I'm going to get this. I sell these. Look at my eBay store. Look at this co color combination, the blue with the yellow pony. I sell this color combination all the time. So we're going to get that too. As long as there are no stains, we're snagging it. It's an easy $20. <laughs> um, we'll look later. We will look later. Uh, hold on one second, guys. All right. Here we go. Um, all right, here we go. Did you finally, uh, did you finally get to try auto posture cross sister? Did you finally? Yeah. Oh yeah. I've had that pot, uh, cross sister. I was in the beta version. So officially guys, tomorrow auto posture is going to be available for everybody on the cross sister. It's going live tomorrow. So auto posture cross sister, virtual assistant, everything is going live tomorrow for a fact. So, and it's awesome. All right, 511 snap, definitely picking this up. So it probably came with that Arcturic, same person. But 511, with this nylon and the snap, five bucks, that will sell for sure. And um, easy to look up 511, because all you do is just look up that little five digit, starting with the seven. 72417, 511, and then you type in that number, and this shirt will come up. Simply Southern Comps, 15 to 20, yeah, I'm gonna leave that behind. Uh, what's your favorite Ralph Lauren brand to pick up? Double RL, purple label. Very, very hard to find those. Definitely not picking these up. They're too new. Um, I remember when those used to do really well. And then Tommy's like, they do really well. We're going to make a whole bunch more of them. And then they stopped doing really well. So when the Hugo Boss goes between 30, 35 and 40. Uh, look at used comps and look at sell-through rate. I don't, I don't know if you'll find that. There's a Peter Millar, but I don't get these anymore. Um, these Peter Millar with this particular logo button up, I don't get those anymore. I leave them in the desk. There's another Polo Ralph Lauren but that has blue stains all over it. I don't know if you can see it. I do it. Love 511. I do too. Um, why is that? There you go. Um, how much extra will it cost if you already use auto posture? Um, the prices will be on there. I pay 89. There's an Eddie Bauer brand of tags, and I am going to get this. I normally wouldn't, but this is Travex. Travex, for some reason, sells really well. So Eddie Bauer, new with tags, Travex for $5. This will probably, and this is tall, large. This will probably sell for like $16.99, $17.99. Really easy to list. Um, so... Uh, yeah, I pay eighty nine ninety nine. It's the highest plan to get um, everything, all the cross sister features, all the credits, everything. I pay eighty nine a month, and then the, the virtual assistant. If you compare apples to apples, because I looked for a long time at different cross sisters, um, and I'd also have Auto Posture as my virtual assistant. All the things it does and the other places um, can't do, it's a no brainer. Um, why is it? Why is it? Um, Hey guys, I don't know why a lot of these comments are like blocked, muted. 
Um, let me see real quick. Hold on, sorry guys. Um, yeah, I don't know why. I don't know why. Okay, let's get back to it. Autopots are so user friendly. It is. You'll see. It's out tomorrow. Um, and again, with with any cross lister you get, guys, it doesn't matter what it is. Auto posture, whatever it be, anything like that. It's you don't have to buy. Um, well, I think some of them auto posture might have one. Like if you buy a year, look at that big hill figure hit. Not getting it. If you buy a year subscription on some things, you get discounts. But if you do month to month, like Netflix or anything, you can just you can just uh, get rid of it if it doesn't work for you. Um, so you're not married to it. But the good thing is too, it's a write off at the end of the year. My eBay store, I just wrote off the whole store, um, all the fees, and um, I wrote off my auto posture. This is a double XL. We just talked about Bugachi Yomo. I don't pick it up, but look at this. Let's see why this one might be a little special. It's 100% linen. So I could tell when feeling it, it was linen. What do you guys think? Pick this up or leave it? Do you put measurements in all my listings? Um, Bacchanable, I don't sell that brand. She, yeah, you sold it. What do you guys think? 100% linen. Leave it, leave it, leave it. Get it. Pick it up, Alicia. Ah, we'll see. We'll see. I want to know sell through rate on shaped fit Bugatti Yomo linen shirts. That's why, I, that's why I want to know. Hugo Boss, again, not getting it. But yeah, Hugo Boss, I don't get anymore. It just sits and sits and sits. So that just tells me don't pick it up anymore. It just sits and sits and sits. What I am excited about is going over to the jackets. See, the pattern is nice. I'd leave it. Yellow tag something off tag. No, yellow tag are the new tags of the week. There's another Polar Ralph Lauren, extra large. Um, this will be like $18.99. I can take pictures of this and list it super quick. For those pers that person asking about taking pictures and, list and measuring, so I take all my measurements in my pictures so I don't have to write them down and then put them in my listing. It saves me a ton of time. So that's how I cut down on time, the process of listing. Uh, you told me that you don't pick it up because it just sits. You were right. <laughs> you sold the pack and I was like, it just, yeah. I don't, everything will sell at a certain price and there's always going to be a buyer for something. But after doing this for so long, I'm not in the, I don't want to sit on stuff for a long time. Those Polar Ralph Lauren shirts, at the price I sell them at, sell pretty quickly. Um, if you watch my lives on YouTube, you know that. There you go. There's another one. Double XL Orange. This is a good one because this is thicker. Definitely picking this up. I don't know if you can get that orange, but four ninety nine black tag was last week. So definitely picking that up. See, there's another 20 So there's 20 So profit, probably $12.00. There's another 12, so 24, and I think we had at least one or two more. So, I mean, in this store alone, just a little $50 in profit. Wait, wait, wait. Since when did any Goodwills uh, have discount days? No, no, they're not discounts. We're looking at new tags, new tags of the week. We don't have discounts in these. You know that. You got excited for a second. Trust me, I would have too. We don't have those discounts here in Indies. They don't discount anything. It's not fair. Multicolor ponies always do better for you. On the Polo Sh Ralph Lauren shirts, multicolor ponies. We talked about that yesterday during live. Um, there's a, there is a yellow one. Man, I'm really starting to hit these. All right. If it doesn't have any stains, I'm picking it up. I know this is a very boring sale for people, but I can literally take pictures of these and list them in under two minutes. I have a video of me doing it. And now there's $50 there for sure profit. So that's... It's 10 minutes. There's 10 minutes worth of time to make $50. That's how I think of it. There's a Bears quarter zip. I'm not getting it. Um, have you tried Measure AI? I have not. Um, Jaylicious, why Why is it blocking your comments? I'm sorry. Love thrifting with you. Thanks, CC. I like thrifting. I like thrifting with me, too. I like thrifting with me, too. Uh, they didn't do sales because y'all prices are so cheap. <laughs> all right probably the case but we used to have these cheap prices and we used to have sales too we used to have these cheap prices with sales and it was wild when it would be like half off day 
places were wild. I wouldn't even come. I'd rather just come on a day when everyone's like, I'm not going on a half price day and get all the good stuff for four ninety nine. All right, let's go look at jackets. Am I sure being black? Yeah, I don't know why. I'm trying to fix the J list, but I have no idea why. I have no idea why. Hopefully not anymore. That one didn't. That one didn't. Uh, we got 75 cents off on a color of the week at our Goodwill stores. 75 cents or get 75% off. 75% off. Okay, that makes sense. Did we look? We did not go down this whole aisle. Yeah, that's that's good. When I was in Chicago, they had the same deal. Um, as far as they had a discount, like half off per week. Live, love, dream. Don't know that one. Um, Emily, what's the holy grail I'm looking for? Oh, man, and clothing. I found quite a bit of them, but, you know, like, it's always really fun to find a Kooji, like a really cool Kooji. It's always really fun to find, like, some crazy Jinkos just because those markets are so hot, and you list them and everyone's on it. It's, so those are really fun to find. Um, but as far as Holy Grail, ugh, maybe like a purple label leather jacket or something like that. I don't know. Are we going to Italy this summer? And I looked up. They have a few thrift stores. I'm going to check it out. Heck yeah, Lish. Whenever you go on vacation, you got to go to thrift stores. It's a must. If you don't go to thrift stores on vacation, you're not a true thrifter. You're not a true thrifter. You're a fake. You're fraud thrifting. All right, let's keep going. Is there a reason you don't shop the bins? Look, here's a Levi Strauss, but this is fake leather. Yeah, I don't shop the bins because um, I'm I get more guaranteed fines by going um, to the thrift stores I go to than going to the bins. So if I go to the bins for a few hours, um, I'm not guaranteed to find like as I am going to multiple thrift stores because I know exactly what color I'm looking for. There's the North Face right there. Um, looking for exactly the right color um at the bands it's it's free for all so there you go flight series 14.99 if it's down it's worth it if it's down it's worth it it's a women's can you sell ups uniform shirt on ebay i'm not sure never have do on vacation expense your trip <laughs> you know what i can do that for my florida trip because that's all i did was thrift all right the question is, is this down? I think the answer is yes, without even looking at anything, looking at a number. So I'm going to go with Flight Series, North Face, Puffer, down, check. I'm going to get this for $14.99. So let's go to the back, make sure it's legit. Yeah, this is a good one. This is a good one. Our bins are insane, so I don't blame it. Yeah, our bins are insane too. It's crazy in there. It's like... I mean, you got to get a bodysuit. These, how did I miss these? These are actually really nice sack names. Look like they've never been worn. Ever run? Um, Echelon 7? I've never seen these. Form fit. Echelon 7. Those look like inserts. But Echelon 7, I don't know how those will do, but for $15, might be a little bit pricey. Love the bins. I found Hilkas, Doc Martens, and Burks the same day. Yes. Bins are great for shoes. When I go to the bins, that's basically the only thing I look for are shoes. Um, because the reason being is at the bins, they have shoes and they're usually dirty and people don't want them at the thrift store. So they t send them to the bins and I'm all about cleaning those shoes up and making a hundred bucks profit. Super nice. Thanks for the follow. By the way, Ace and Judy, uh, those are all regular inserts for those shoes. I have a pair. Okay. Those are the regular inserts. Is that a good... I had never sold that model before, so I don't know how the comps would come up on that one. So I'm going to have to come back to this aisle. We got blocked in. All right, Brad, what kick at? They sell for about 35 Okay, 15 to 35 I don't think I'm going to mess with it. I don't think I'm going to mess with it. Especially shoes can be a little bit longer tail. If it was like a... Um, Pull a Ralph Lauren denim and supply that sell really quick. I'd for sure pick it up. So we're going to look through these. We're not going to go through a whole bunch of ladies today, ladies, but we will go through some. We will go through some. I like to look at leggings. I like to look at women's jeans. Dresses are really tough. What size is that North Face? I think it was a small. I think it was small. I did not, I did not see the size, but just guessing by how it felt and the way it looked, it looked like a small. Girlfriend? No, girlfriend. Will this be on YouTube later? Yeah, this whole thing will be on YouTube later. Yep, 
I'll put it on YouTube later. All right, let's keep looking. Oh, and I'm gonna do a thrift haul to you guys. If you wanna follow over there, I'm gonna do a thrift haul. For any new resellers, a lot of you are veterans. I watch all your stuff and you guys all know the brands. But I did put on Surf's reselling community this morning um, a new brand to me. I did put a new brand to me over there, so I'm always learning. And then I actually ask people, what are new brands to you so they can teach me? I want to be like you. No, you don't. No, you don't. I've gained way too much weight over the past few weeks after going on that cruise. Uh, these are kind of weird. So we're not really finding many leggings. Um, that jacket is, which I just left my cart here again. You guys hate me, I know. Look, boom. Look, there's like a, a collegiate, like, master's or whatever, professor jacket. I don't know what those are called. Graduation. Look, is that North Face? Is that North Face? This is a women's large. Way off. <laughs> Way off. Women's large. And it is 900. Wow. 900 downfill. I don't know if I've seen 900 downfill in a North Face. That's a, that's a high freaking fill. The higher usually is the better. Fresh merch, new cart. Okay, quit. What's up, Sean? Um, yeah, I'm just gonna leave that new card alone. I'll let it sit over there for a little while. And just kidding. Let me see. We're rolling out a, a hard goods card too. So I'm gonna look at that. Maurice's. I'm not finding any women's. What do you guys think? Get out of this section. Get out of this section. I'm thinking out of this section. Normal is 980 for um, short puffs. So most of the puffs that I see are 550, 600, maybe 800. I don't know if I've ever seen a 900. Um, let's see. You rack hauls out to say, I know. I'm going to let them get get to their spot, though. I don't know if we actually looked at this one. Forever 21. And, ooh, Pendleton. We definitely didn't look at this one. Washable wool, Pendleton, large. There you go. Pendleton is not the best seller if it's like this, but this is a good one. This is a heavy duty, full zip Pendleton washable wool for $5.99. I'm going to snag that one. I have that one in brown. This green one in brown, is it warm? Is it good? Is it worth it? Is it worth it? The flash new tags. We'll see if there's other stuff over here. Puma, vintage. Rose Bowl, Purdue Puma. This is a really good seller. This is a Depop, supposedly. So I can cross this to Depop now. I might start selling some stuff on Depop. Otherwise, people will buy this. This is Purdue when they went to the Rose Bowl with. Anyone know the quarterback who they went there with? Anyone know the quarterback? That's good. Um, those look like Rock Revival. Were there Rock Revival jeans? Did I miss something? I'm going to go look at that card over there. Oh, she's over there. Guys. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. We have a new cart here, a new cart here, and that cart right there. But look, she's on that cart. She's on that cart. What am I supposed to do? Drew Brees, you got it. Yep, Drew Brees. Um, yep, Drew Brees. Ooh, look at that. Wow, that is so neat. That is neat. What, what would that be? It's got to be like a... I don't know, but that is... Neat, and I think old. Are there any markings on it? Yeah, champion. I think champion. What is this? This is really cool. This is my. This is my jam. This is my. This is my jam. Antiques. Look at that bug spray can. Is that a bug spray can? Look at that thing. Is that really a bug spray can? Vintage torch. That's pretty cool. I think it says champion on it, or maybe. It looks like it should say champion, but it looks like it's a S A S H A P. Not for sure. Put that here. Look, and they're rolling out another cart. We got a lot. I love you guys. I love thrifting with you guys. Sword torch, vintage shoulder torch from the night. Motor oil. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Um, champion. That is champion. Still looks empty. It's a torch. Uh, what do I sell on eBay? So this is. Guys, this is the stuff I used to sell all day long. I never sold clothing. This is what I sold. I'd go into house sales or state sales. This would be my sale. Um, that's what I used to sell. All right, let's go over here and see if we can find some more stuff. Let's go. 
Hundred percent Mitch's blowtorch. Ooh, I'm just gonna leave it there. We left our yeah, Thanks, Kathy. Look at that, just sitting out here on this cart. That's why people always want to go to like really expensive parts of towns. All right, let's get in on this real quick. Actually, I don't even know if I can show you guys everything because I want to get through it quick and not bother this fine lady. Um, Cat Street. There you go. There you go. That's what I was talking about earlier. All right, so she's putting away some stuff. We're gonna get a quick look on here and then we'll be done with it. We're done. It. Um, it's good profit selling on eBay. Oh, yeah. I mean, it all depends on your buy cup. So if you're new here, it's reselling. It's buying and reselling. So if you can, it's, it's the, the way the world works, right? Buy something for cheap, sell it for more money. Apple buys um, phones, you know, buys parts for their phones for really cheap, have it manufactured for cheap, and then sell it for four mo more money. To, and then that's how that goes. Dick Sporting Goods buys clothing from Nike uh, for cheap, and then they sell it for more money. That's that's just the name of the game. Girl, I'll leave me some stuff you can't keep. I'll leave it there. Keep running stuff up. Vintage velour tracksuits do well. Was there one in here? All right, so is this a new cart? This looks new because I don't remember those fire flex hoes. I'm going to go ahead and snag them because those always do well for me. So we'll talk about these too. So these are fire flex hose. Boop. As long as they're $4.99, they're a sell. $7.99. Ooh, and they're carpenter. So they're not, they're not the cargo. They're the carpenter. So you know the carpenter, and they have a little spot there. So those might go back. We might put those back. What do you guys think? Good morning, Meg. Uh, do you do this full time? I do. It's my full time job. Yep. I make more than I did as a teacher doing this. So that goes to show you two things. You can make a full time living and your kids' teachers aren't getting paid. Tells them both. There is a brand I'm not going to pick up because it's twelve ninety nine new. So I'm not going to pick that brand up. There's a Nike. Nike shorts can do good. You can look at the comps on them. They usually have a, there's free people shorts. Free people shorts. I've never sold them before. Yeah, I sold my Macari for eighteen dollars. One thirteen yesterday, but this is definitely making me want to go to another store today. Yeah, guys, watching these are not, if if you like thrifting, watching these are not good for you because it's just gonna make you want to go spend money and thrift. Okay, what do you guys think about this size ten American Eagle jean shorts? You think these are good? Those good size ten are good size. Yes or no? Um, that torch in your car is anywhere between 25 and 50 all day. I didn't even see the price on it either. I just think it's cool. That might just go in my turn of the century room. I might not even sell that. You guys see my whatnots and stuff. My lives. Alright. Um, probably great on Depop. Did that do well on Depop? Joey. Dang it, Joey. I thought you were Johnny. Johnny was. What a punk. What a punk. I want to get over to that cart. I want to get to that cart. They had some vintage stuff over there. Um, Top Shop, nope, nope. So we're gonna. What do you guys think about those? Seven ninety nine. It was seven ninety nine. Oh, was it for those shorts? Oh, for the um, torch, seven ninety nine. Yeah, I'm gonna get it no matter what. I don't care what the resale value is on that. I think this stuff is cool. They don't make stuff like this anymore. You're not gonna find another one. Yeah, I don't care. I'm getting it. Um, yep, I think this was super cool. So vintage champion. Blowtorch. That is so cool. $7.99. Snag. Um, I love being a special ed para to be uh, some. More money now than I ever made as a para. Teachers don't make much. No, Alyssa, I actually taught um, special ed PE. So we were in similar fields. Uh, and yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I still want to get on that one. That's the one I want. That's the one I want. How do you feel about a Depop? Thinking about listing, adding the platform. You know what? Tammy, stick with me because um, now I have auto posture. I can just click one button to click on Depop and sell on Depop. I haven't yet. I just started Mercari. So what do you guys think, chat? Depop, I, I know some things do better on Depop than others. So we're going to look through women's jeans now. Like seven for all mankind. If they're dojo, they're a must. If they're slimmy, I'm not picking them up. Hey, anyone, is anyone selling AG jeans anymore? Yeah, at least we just got AG in here. Sorry about that. Uh, vintage does better on Depop, hands down. That's what I've heard. AZ, vintage on Depop. 
So what you could do, which is, oh, sorry. Which, what I may do is cross-list just my vintage stuff over to Depop. That's what I might do. Just vintage stuff to Depop. Um, I don't do Depop. It's too sketchy. Where do I sell these? I sell all these on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari now. I added Depop and I sold a bit. So easy to cross this. Yeah, it's, I mean, just one extra click. All right, here's can, can, new with tags. What do you guys think? Size three? I just say three. 325? I just don't think so. Um, sorry for what you got to say from the cards. Was all that stuff? Yeah, this is all from the carts, except this is going to go back. This is all in the cart today. From today, obviously. Um, but yeah, we're going to put this back. Lots of younger buyers in Depop. Exactly. Husband gets paid um, to haul and resell, swing um, your own boss. Yeah, exactly. No, no, and can can, Logan. Okay. Top shot, no. We didn't look at this last piece, and it was a Columbia, so it'll hurt. All right, let's keep looking at the yellow tags. We're only I'm only looking at yellow tags. Only yellow tags. Skinny fries. I'm looking for like Mother, Judy Blue, Dojo. Dojo, Judy Blue, Mother. Those are what I'm looking for. Do you have a budget for the day when you go thrifty? Emily, I don't now. I don't have a budget now. So um, basically when I taught, I wanted to build up a stockpile, um, or I call, I call it powder, um, of money, and... Make sure I have enough just in case there's a, you know, a huge sale or, you know, a big cart full of stuff. I don't, I'd hate to leave something behind. So I don't, but when I started, I, you know, I had to be free, uh, free list. I can't even say the word. I had to be careful with my money. Frugal. I had to be frugal with my money. So I only bought items that would sell for more money. Um, not like those 10, $12 profit items. Found two pair of Judy Blues last week, seven ninety nine each. Send that my way, Zuzu. Thanks for sharing, Zuzu. Thanks, man. All right, gotta get in there. Look, you gotta get in there. We gotta get in there. Come on, come on, come on. Wait. Yes. And it's men's clothing, so we have to go. We have to be a creep and find out where she's putting that stuff. Now we're in. Okay, we're in, guys. We're in. Quick. We have thirty seconds. Thirty seconds while we're in here. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Quick. It's okay if there's not anything. Give it a shot. Nothing, 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 nothing. That's all right. It's okay. It's worth a shot. Um, now we're less money. Big Scott, what are less money? <clears throat> um, don't steal my cart, Sean. Don't. Wouldn't be nice. Silver jeans. Dang it. Nothing. Oh, someone said there might be Rock Revival on here. Uh, no, those always look like Judy Blue to me. I'll see a rock revival on here. Done. Thank you. Look, just in the nick of time. Skills. I just saw a be uh, beard taken off of your cart. Yeah, beard and wood. He would take off my cart. That dude doesn't even come down and say hi anymore. I had the worst luck at New Rex. I mean, they're hit and miss, right? How many have we had out today? Seven or so? We haven't gotten that much off of it. I don't even remember if we got anything off of them. Um, so we found more on the actual floor, which is usually not the case. Usually not the case. All right. So I do want to look at jeans. All these yellow tags. I like Judy Blues in the bigger section. So Judy Blue in this 12, that's a good size. So yes. And all 300 and whatever, thank you for hitting the like. Thanks for the follow. Um, as always... Doesn't cost any money, I don't charge anybody. But if you're interested in making some extra bucks for selling, that's what I teach. That's what I do. Ross VIP jeans, VIP jeans, and I'm on Instagram and uh, YouTube. I put a lot of content over there that you can rewatch. Um, and if I'm not your style, hey, there's a lot of other resellers out there that have really good content too. Okay, what about this brand, jeans? Is this a good one? I've never heard of this brand. Muse Looks. Muse Looks. Never heard of it. I found Johnny Was new on the rack a few weeks ago, sold it in two hours. Yeah, Johnny Was, third hand thrifts. I wish I could be you. I want Johnny Was. What do you think of carbon and cobalt? I pick it up. If it's five dollars or less, I pick it up. I pick it up. Johnny, uh carbon to cobalt. Um, what are the best to buy to resell? Gotta look at my eBay store. It's on surfsupfinds.com. 
You can see what I've sold in the last 90 days. Those are the brands I buy and resell. Or else I could just spit a whole bunch of brands for 30 minutes. And be like, wait a minute, what brands again? Uh, sold three viewers short for $15 or $50 sold for a hundred. Dang. I love Viore. I cannot find Viore. Anybody up for underwear? Should we see if there's a stain inside? Nah, we'll save that for a rainy day. All right. So we're going to go down here. We're going to look at blazers. We're going to take one scroll through one stroll through the toys and I'm not going to look at women's clothing because they didn't have any other um, leggings or anything that was good, which would make me think they might not have anything good. Women's. And it takes me forever to go through that section. Uh, cool. Maywell was doing well in jeans and now slow. Agreed. Maywell had just slowed down on anything. The only Maywell I pick up anymore uh, are the really embroidered boho dresses. So I don't know. A dress, if this was all like embroidery, those do really well. Like dresses like that. Um, but made well, I just, I don't get it anymore. I do not get it anymore. Well, green envy. Huh. That looks like a really nice, but I'm not getting it. See there, Friday surfs. Okay, Sean. Yes, please. Let's start brands verbally. <laughs> I'm here for it. No, Meg, you jokester. Did you put out a new video, by the way, with me? There's been so many video. By the way, if you guys saw the video of me with, um, Big Apple Picker, I thought it was hilarious. I don't get offended by anything. He actually sent me. He's like, do you care? I'm like, dude, please. If you don't, I'll be mad. All right, Build-A-Bear. You guys saw last week I found Sonic and um, Sonic and Tails. And Tails sells for 70 and Sonic sells for 20 How does Crayola Build-A-Bear do? And it says something. It says something. Travis Matthew Cricket. Cricket. But yeah, both of those are good. They both come off a little bit. So you're by... Five cost has to be kind of cheap. Five ninety nine for this Crayola Bill Bear. For some reason, I feel like this would do well. You raise my return on whatnot. Let's go, Thrifty Christie. Get it on whatnot. Whatnot slowed down a little bit for people or whatever, but um, yeah. I mean, again, people are looking for deals, right? People on whatnot are looking for deals. So if you can get stuff really, really cheap and put on whatnot and give a really good deal to somebody, and you're making a little money, it's, it's a win win for everybody. Pass on this builder bear? Okay. That's too bad. Because he's he's cool looking. And he talks. Okay. Whatever. Pass on him. All right. Oh, geez. All the ones I found at the... My... That is... um. Oh, my gosh. Is that a... What is, gosh, it's been so long since I've done antiques. See this mark right here? Uh, 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 uh. See this mark? Do you guys know that mark right there? Um, can you see it? What is that brand? I forget the brand. Forget the brand. Meg, you guys all love each other. Um, Definitely one soldier. Pass on the beef. Got you. A Builder Bear. Uh, I have a Hot Wheels Builder Bear. Do they do well? What is that brand? Uh, NC, NC. Can't see it. Let's see if you can get the lighting. Um, there you go. Thanks for all the shares and likes. My gosh, the screen is lighting up after I took that away. Ah, uh, what is that? My dad used to collect these. Um, but yeah, it's broken, so it's not worth it. But these used to be super hot. Like, super hot back in the day with Hummels and everything else, but not anymore. Not anymore. And he's got a broken thing right there. So we're not going to do it. Anyone in the chat know their antiques? What is that? I completely forget. Here are all those woods. Look at that. Oh, those are all going to the landfill, but at least they will, they're biodegradable, right? All right. Look one time through the hard goods. This is a watch winder. So this, if you guys ever see these, these are watch winders. So people with automatic watches, they get these to keep their watches always ticking or always going. Here's a DuPont, um, Hamilton DuPont. Looks like it was, it's made by Hamilton and it's given to, um, someone who worked at DuPont paint company. Uh, anyone uh, chat an antique? <laughs> anyone check no antiques? Here you go. Here is, is this PlayStation brand or is this just supposed to look like PlayStation? AZ, I see you in here. How about this? Steering wheel, these don't do real well anymore, right? Um, I don't even see a brand on it. I don't even see a brand on it. It does have a stick shift. 
if you're trying to learn stick shift, boom, boom, boom. What do you think? Uh, what do you usually sell? So I sell clothing now, but this is what I used to sell. Um, I've never found a blowtorch though, out of all the years. Um, but I sell clothing. So this is full of clothing. It's going to be car. It's going to be on, um, I'm going to post this on YouTube later so you can catch it on YouTube. Pass me too. Okay. Pass it. I'll pass on it. I know Beater likes to sell Briar horses. Again, I look through here just in case they have like a TI-84 ca uh, calculator or something. Flips used to be good, but don't get them anymore. All right. I think, guys, I think that's it. What do you think? A good haul? It's a pretty good haul. I appreciate you all being here. How many clothes in your shop? So what I did, uh, again, if you're new in here, what is that? And now DC. Huh, looks vintage. Um, you can go to surfsupfinds.com and you can see my eBay store and just look at, you can look at all the stuff I sold. So I don't put it on there for people to purchase things. I just put it on there for people to see what I sell. Um, and then you can see all the other, like the packing supplies and all that stuff. Um, like tomorrow morning, I'll do a live packing at 8.30 a.m. on YouTube. You can go watch that. All right, let's keep going. Thrift haul later. So the thrift haul I'm going to do is going to be this plus everything else I got recently. That's going to be my thrift haul. Are they all allowed new? All right, that's the question. This is a new cart. So yes, they, I think this is a new cart, right? No, it's not a new cart. We looked at that one. Uh, so appreciate it. So yeah, so I will, um, I'll do a thrift haul. Uh-oh. What jeans were these? What jeans were these? These are diesel. Diesel. Okay, I'm still going to pick these up with this little bit of heel drag because diesel does well. I actually, that might be, um, that looks really uniform. That might be distressed, original distressed. How many clothes do you pick up and post a week? Um, I do 15 a day, Monday through, for, Monday through mo Sunday. Um, I post on my eBay and then I cross list with Auto Posture on a Depop now, or not Depop, but Poshmark and now Mercari. So that's what I do. Diesel! So yeah, if you want to see a rundown on all this and you're new, um, going live again, Tease? Maybe. Stay tuned. I might. I might. Um, what I might do is go live on YouTube. I, have, I want to try that. I'm KOA and I've been talking about it. So I might go live on YouTube next. I will. I'll go live on YouTube later. So make sure you follow over there. All right. If you want to see all this stuff, um, I'll post it later on a haul on YouTube. Appreciate you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Love you all. Woo! Big Save's got about 300. Um, hold on. Dang, 15 a day is good. I can do more than 15. Yesterday, I got 15 done and cross-listed in like two hours. It just tells myself how efficient I can be. I try list watching. I love. Uh, it's not good. Combo. I know. I know. All right, guys. I'll see you later. Have a great day. Um, I am going to go 